Hello there, it's me, Sorry, and today I'm here with a little bit of a scrap haul from Scrap Brookit, where I have gotten a pair of scissors from X-Cut. I haven't tried these out yet, as you can see they are still in the package, but I'm hoping they'll be working just fine. And I got another pair, which I was thinking of comparing whether they are similar to Tim Holtz's red scissors. Red scissors. And then I got myself this package of dies. I res resisted this one for the longest of times because I was thinking that I might be able to cut out everything with my scissors. But in the end, I just fell for the group pressure, so to speak, and I caved in. And this is where I'm at right now. So I'm really looking forward to starting using them, so to start using them. And so I'm sort of in a snowflakey Christmassy mood. I do have to prepare a couple of Christmas cards, so I was thinking that perhaps a couple of dies could set me going. So these are from Craft Emotions. So Craft Emotions has both dies and embossing folders, and stamps. So it's a new company for me, relatively new, but they do have some nice things. And then I got myself some dies with circles and squares, and I thought actually these would be going to be bigger, but silly me who didn't look up the sizes for them. And then I went ahead getting another set of dies from Tim Holtz and Sizzix with a Christmas theme. And I'm thinking that the word happy there could be used any time. The magic word snowflake I could use for a Christmas card perhaps. And joyful could be used for something, traditions. So I'm thinking that these could be used for something else than just Christmas. And then I got myself three packages of stamps from Santoro. Also, let's see, Santoro, sorry about the blurriness there, but these are also called Gorgeous Girls. So this is what the girl looks like, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to make her justice. Here's a better caption of the image, and the stamps in the back, really. It's a nice looking tag there, I must say, so I'm looking forward to getting use of that. It's a heart, a couple of hearts, actually, and then over with stripes, or... And here's another one with a girl and a heart and a kitten. Let's see on the back what they say. There are actually two kittens, so if I want to, I can actually put the kitten in front of her the next time, if I would like to mask the kitten there somewhere. And the final one with a gorgeous girl theme is this. And I do like the extra stamps, I just have to start using them, because I do believe that they could be nice to work with. And here is a set from st a stamps from Viva Decor, or My Paper World, it's called. And these are clear stamps, and I'm thinking that if I stamp these in, let's say, brown or black, I could just partly colour some of the pieces in, perhaps the bird or perhaps the flower, and just keep everything as it is. I could perhaps even go in with some colour on the buttons there. So I'm looking forward to using these. And then the final set of stamps, more snowflakes. Just look at these beautiful stamps. I just had to go there, try to see what they could give me. And there's a beautiful border there as well. So Im imagine embossing that one with some powder, embossing powder. Sheena Douglas. And let's see what this one is called. Ornate Snowflake. S-D-L-B-S Snow. So that's what I have gotten for now. And by the by, I'm waiting for some new stamps from Vilda Stamps that I have designed. So I'm hoping I'll be able to show you them the next week, perhaps or the week after that. All right, I'm going to sign off right now. I hope you have a splendid scrap weekend. I'll try to make some fantastic things. Well, I'll try to make some things anyway. All right, I hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.